In this video we will be going over the TB6600 stepper driver module. This is a pretty cheap module that you can buy on Amazon. This is the one I'll be using in this tutorial. The main benefit of this driver is its high output current as well as its current limiting for your stepper motor. You can wire it up in common anode and common cathode. For this tutorial we're going to be using the common cathode configuration just because it makes the most sense when controlling it with a microcontroller. Before we set up your driver, there's two pieces of data that you're going to want to know about the stepper motor you plan to drive. You're going to be looking for your steps for revolution and your rated current per phase. Setting up the motor that I picked out, I'm going to put it into full step mode, which means it'll take 200 steps for one rotation, and then I'm going to put the, the current limiting at 1.5 amp at a peak of 1.7. To do this, you're just going to put the dip switches in the locations that the faceplate tells you. Um, down is active. Next, we're going to set up the stepper driver for a common cathode operation. You'll just do this by tying all the negative logic terminals together through jumper wires and then pull one pin out so that you can connect it to the Arduino. Because we're using a four wire bipolar stepper motor, we're going to need to identify the coils. The easiest way to identify the coil pairs on a stepper is to rotate the shaft freely and, and feel the torque, and then take one wire and cross it with another and rotate the shaft again. And if the torque is the same, that's not a pair. And if you cross two wires that are in the same loop, you'll feel it clicking and an increased torque, and that'll be one of your pairs. Once you get both your A and B pairs, you should be ready to wire this up to the stepper driver. Just take the two leads from each pair that you found from spinning the shaft, plug them into the terminal lock accordingly to what the diagram shows on the faceplate. You will also want to plug in two wires into the ground and positive power for the stepper motors. We'll be using that to connect to a power supply. Connect three more wires to the positive inputs on the board. We'll be using these to interface with the Arduino. For connecting to the Arduino, bring the pulse pin, also known as the step pin, onto pin 12, bring direction onto pin 11, and then plug in the enable pin into pin 10. Connect the logic ground wire from the stepper driver to the ground of the Arduino. For the Arduino code, we're first going to want to define the pin locations that we're using to control the stepper driver. And then we need to make sure to declare these pins as outputs so they can supply enough current to trigger the logic of the driver. One thing to note about the stepper driver board is that the enable pin is actually active low and this isn't referenced anywhere on the silk screen on the faceplate. Next we're going to create a function called forward that's going to take in steps and it's going to enable the stepper and then it will pull the direction pin high and then toggle the step pin until the for loop reaches the number of steps. I perform the toggle of the pin by always setting the step pin to be the opposite of the value that it currently is using the digital read. If you're looking to toggle this pin a little bit faster you'd want to create a variable that's a known state and then not use digital write and read, you'll want to control the registers. To make the reverse function, it's a full copy of the forward function and then you'll just pull the direction pin low. You'll now be able to call these functions from within your main loop and then you'll want to verify the code and fix the errors which on this one is just declaring your local variable. For powering the high side of the stepper driver, I'll be using 12 volts. And there you go, if you power on your circuit and connect the stepper side to the power supply, your stepper motor should start swinging back and forth. One quick thing to note is if you want to control this stepper driver board with something more powerful than a 5 volt logic microcontroller like the Arduino, you want to make sure to not overcurrent the optocoupler diodes, which they typically will take in 10 milliamps at 5 volts. 12 volt and 24 volt signals can be reduced using a 1K and 2K resistor, respectively. 